So I used these three knives last week. Masamoto white number two honyaki and Watanabe blue number two and Mizuno Tanrenjo blue number two. Each one of them got used twice. Um, so Monday I used Watanabe, Tuesday I used Mizuno, and Wednesday Masamoto, Thursday back to Watanabe again, and Friday Mizuno, and Saturday Masamoto. So this is not a scientific test by any means, but it is a uh, kind of real world test, not really a test, but you know, what you really get out of this braid. And I just wanted to show you how it is not a good idea to choose a knife based on what type of steel is used. So these are the cutting performance right after the sharpening. First, Watanabe. Then, Mizuno. Then Masamoto Honyaki. They all cut about the same. Almost completely cutting of the towel. So I did not sharpen. I did not touch up this blade after two days of work. So let's see how much sharpness is left. Start with Watanabe, blue number two. slightly past the center. Next, Minamoto Akitada, Mizuno Tanrenjo. This is also blue number two. Just about to the center. A little less than Watanabe. Somehow this doesn't feel as aggressive as Watanabe. And Masamoto, white number two, Honyaki. Much deeper. It passed center. So you can see cut made by Watanabe and uh, Mizuno and Masamoto all the way. So blue number two, blue number two, white number two after two days of work. So as you can see, edge retention talk on YouTube on the internet is pretty much bullshit that's useless. Blue blue, white. Who says blue still gives you better edge retention than white? White clearly outperforms blue. It all depends on, well, this is actually more complicated than a simple matter of what type of steel. But in this case, Masamoto 
Hitachi white number two is a clear winner. And I love the aggressive feeling of white steel. Just for fun, how much sharpness you can restore by using a uh, laser stroke. Let's try. Masamoto white number two on Yaki. Actually, pretty impressive, right? And then Watanabe blue number two. Let's see. Mm, not as deep as Masamoto, but much deeper. Mizuno Tanrenjo, Minamoto Akitada. Let's see. Now this time, after stropping, Mizuno outperformed Watanabe. So to me, white steel is a clear winner. Compared to blue, it cuts more aggressively and retains that aggressive edge for much longer period of time. And it takes less time to sharpen. Sharpening white steel is much quicker than blue. So where that blue steel has better edge retention than white thing comes from? Where did it came from? It's um, internet myth or marketing bullshit. If you keep using these knives continuously from this point, after another week or maybe two weeks, then uh, blue might have better edge than white. Because after a certain point, all edges wear out. And once they start degrading, the uh, performance drops off kind of rapidly. But the truth is, you actually sharpen them before it happens. So where is the point? You pay more money for blue and get less performance. Or actually you pay more for this one. This is Honyaki. These two are Kasumi. So there is a difference in construction. Also, there is massive price difference. This one costs like two, three times more. And I have two of them and have no regret. In the end, you get what you pay for. Yes, there is a reason these things cost three times of typical Yanagi. 